I have to ask about Francis Magalona, oh. you know, fanboy moment, because yes. I was a kid. Yes. I studied him, basically. Well, first off, I know that it was a long time. It's been like, what, 12, 13 years yes. since he's passed away. Yes. I've never lost someone. Wow, you are a true fan. You know. Wow, yeah. <laughs> wow, wow. I've never lost someone that close to me. Mm. So I'm curious, like, do you think of him every single day? Or, or like, that's, I mean, he's been gone for... Th- for 13 years almost so yes his spirit lives within all of us i believe here in the philippines Mm -hmm. and i really believe that his spirit will forever be here with us because he really did uh leave that legacy of Mm -hmm. like you know loving our own um being proud of our filipino flavor that's what he would always rap about so i really believe that his spirit will live on forever in the hearts of the filipino people but me personally, I used to think of him with sadness. Yeah. I used to think of him missing him every day and like, you know, like being lost without him. That's why I went into that party phase for five years. But ever since I went into this path of spiritual awakening and I learned about souls, I, I realized that he lived his life purpose. He served his life purpose yeah. really well. I believe that he is in a better place. And that's why when I think of him now, I think of him as a beautiful reminder of how to live my own life because he he really lived his life with maximum energy, full throttle. He never allowed his cancer, his sickness to hold him back and he actually just kept going. Thinking about him now, I, I see him as a beautiful reminder of how to live our lives every day to the max. That's how I see him now because he wanted to name me Max because he thought I was going to be a boy, actually. And he, and he said to me that I, he wanted to name me Max because when, whenever the time comes that he would have to scold me, Max, he said, it's going to be easy for him to call me. He was excited to scold me. That's what he said. Wow. And then I became a girl. So then I think there was a mix-up or whatever. And then they named me Maxine. He and I shared a really close bond. He was my best friend. And, you know, thinking about him now just brings me so much joy and so much pride. And hearing about his songs and what he would rap about and sing about, you know, this kaleidoscope world. He was the one who taught me that we are all one and the same. And I would see him, how he would treat people around him. He was not perfect. He had his um, mistakes and he, he made a lot of mistakes. And he, he, he actually um, grew up in the public eye and people saw those mistakes firsthand in the, in the news. But that didn't really stop him from still showing up yeah. and continuing, even if it was hard. And that's what I, that's how I live my life now. That even if I have these problems, even if I was just crying before coming here, you know, even if I have those moments of anxiety and fear, his spirit reminds me to keep going. And that's, that's how he lived his life, with, with much gusto, with much fearlessness. He was fearless. Papa was fearless. I, I could totally connect um, with <laughs> everything you're saying about him. And because, you know, I, I dealt with my you know, whole cancer journey back in 2007. And you survived. Yeah, I think I'm on, I'm on four years today of Amazing. remission. Amazing. Thank you so much for yeah. fighting and for never giving up. But that was my entire advocacy and my purpose of why I continued to daily vlog and, and kind of document my my journey and my experience was just to show people that I don't care like I'm not gonna let this mm-hmm. stop me and yes. no matter what I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna live my life I'm gonna enjoy my life exactly exactly because that is what we are here to do we are here to live our best authentic yeah. lives and without fear without fear no matter and no. there's there's gonna be stuff that's out of your control no matter exactly. what happens just keep pressing and even forward. if there is fear feel it yeah. feel the fear and do it anyway because mm-hmm. that is what we are here to do. We are here to overcome that fear. Because fear comes from the devil, but faith comes from God. And both fear and faith requires the same energy from us. Fear and faith requires us to believe in something that hasn't even happened yet. Mm-hmm. So why not go with faith, right? We yeah. want to believe in the good. We want to believe in light. Because even if there is darkness, the light will always be there. And we just have to cling on to that. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Wow. There wow. you go. Maxine Magalona, everyone. <laughs> Standing ovation. Thank you so much. Thank there, you. There I are am... those tears I was asking for earlier. <laughs> but... <laughs> but it's not acting. I, I manifested it. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was great. That was amazing. Thank oh, you. And it's a good release. Geez. To cry 
it's good. It's a yeah. good feeling. Let it out. Let it out. Know? For those who want to cry, cry. Mm-hmm. You know, pull up to my place. Let's have a crying session. Yeah. You know, like, it's, it's, it's good to cry. It's, it's a spiritual cleanse. If you liked what you saw and you want to listen to the full episode, then download Spotify and follow us at Superhuman with Will Dasovich. It's completely free. It's linked below and easy to use.